In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about five ways that you can elevate your cinematic car videos. This video is not about camera settings, but rather how to take your cinematic ideas and blow them up to the next level. Another Canadian friend of mine who runs this company, Project X60, is launching a new product line for his company. So he asked me if I could create a video for him and I didn't just wanna do the same old stuff, you know? So I decided to actually challenge myself to create something better than I have before. So my hope for this video is to bring you guys along and give you five practical tips on how you can elevate your car videos. The first tip that I have for you guys is to try and add lighting. So we gotta start, have the car on. I wanna get like red lights as like kind of making on the wall, make it look like the tail lights are on. And I wanna put tube lights around, like stand them around yeah. it. But that's the vibe. There's a ton of incredible light sources out there for an incredibly cost effective rate now. They used to be really expensive, but now there's tons of players in the market where you can add lighting for less than $200 or maybe a little bit more with a softbox or something like that. Lighting in your videos adds a ton of shape. And in car videos specifically, you can add a really soft key light to your car. You can see in this particular location we had, it had the grid-like lighting above the McLaren, but I didn't really want those reflections to be all over the car because I wanted to be able to shape the light and not let the space around me dictate how the car is gonna look. I wanted to create that myself. So I highly recommend if you have the budget for it, pick up a light. This way we are able to make our subjects pop out of the frame. Whether we were adding backlighting or our key light in the front to make that car stand out or to make Travis stand out of the scene, this was absolutely essential, but it does add that extra step of elevation to your car videos rather than, I didn't just wanna show up and shoot the car like I shoot everything else, I wanted to take it to the next level and that's where lighting came in. Now that we have the room lit, the next thing I wanted to do was add a bit more atmosphere to the shots. So to do that, we used a haze machine. Now I found the cheapest one, honestly, that I could find on Amazon. The one that I got was 50 bucks on sale, plus haze fluid rather than fog fluid. Now the reason I went with haze is haze actually settles is a little bit thinner than fog, and so it actually settles and sits in the room a little bit nicer. So I brought that and between lighting and haze, we were able to add a really nice atmosphere in the room. Now, one thing I suggest when you haze a room is be really careful with it. Obviously you can fill it out, but you want to let it settle before you start filming. There was a few times we were waiting for the haze to settle while we were waiting to actually film the shots we needed because it was just too much. So be careful to let haze be something that adds atmosphere, but doesn't maybe overtake the film. You'll see in any cinematic film that you ever watch, if they're indoors and you can see light coming through the window, it's cause they're adding haze and they're adding that atmosphere, which adds depth to your videos as well. And so this is a tactic that I wanted to bring into my car videos as well, because I just wanted to elevate it guys. So haze can do a lot in adding depth in your image. And of course, paired with lighting, it's going to do a lot. to focus on a couple of specialty shots for the cinematic video. So the first one that I focused on here was with light painting. Travis is a car wrap designer and now providing car wrap films as well. So a part of what we had to focus on in this video is to actually showcase those designs on the car. And I thought a great way to do that is with light painting. I used an Amaran T2C light, but I also used a Sure two foot slash extendable to four foot tube light to add these accents to the car. The great thing about light painting is you can draw the attention of your audience directly to that thing you wanna showcase. Again, our eyes are drawn to light, so we're just gonna light paint over the designs we want to see, and in the blackness and in the darkness, our eyes don't really care what's happening there. We just wanna see what the light's focused on. So we set our camera up in 24 frames per second. I held the camera, and then my buddy Aaron, who was there helping me, would then light paint over the car with me. Three, two, one. What we found to work really well was I was using the gimbal and I would push towards or across a design and then Aaron would go opposite to what I was doing. And I found that this kind of gave us a really cool effect in lighting to draw our attention to these certain details. 
I knew I wanted these shots as cut-ins, as ways to draw attention to the car wrap film and the design that Travis was working on. If you guys have a controlled environment where you can make it dark or you can wait until nighttime, this is an amazing way to add those details or cut shots into your videos that will really elevate it. I've done this with a ton of my videos and on a budget too, guys. You don't have to buy the most expensive lights. You can make this happen with a budget tube light. Just search on Amazon or something or I'll, I'll leave a link to the ones that I use down below. The fourth tip that I have for you guys, I actually have to give credit to another YouTuber, Rylan Joey. He's an incredibly talented YouTuber and a part of my preparation for this video that I was making, I did research on cinematic car videos and Rylan Joey showed up and one of the shots that he taught us in one of his videos is how to do these slow shutter movements. And I wanted to try this out for myself and it was actually so much fun to use as cut shots. So if you guys have the opportunity to plan for making slow shutter speed videos that you can use in these transition moments, I knew I wanted to use light painting transitions, slow shutter speed transitions, and also F PV transitions. So what I had to do to get these slow shutter speed videos is bring your shutter speed down to one over 10 or one over 15 when standard, if you're shooting in 24 frames per second is one over 50 for the most normal, I guess, amount of shutter movement in your camera. But I wanted to actually slow this down so I could speed those up in post and kind of create these visceral cut effects that I knew I would add glitches and sound effects to in post production. But it was so much fun to create these movements in real life and then turn them into the transitions that we have in the video. One last quick tip that I don't actually have in my notes was shooting in FPV mode on my gimbal. This is different than just the very clean standard shots that you'll get with your gimbal but in fpv you can do weird transitions and i knew that i wanted to cut between some moments with travis designing and the car and one of the ways that i thought i could do that is by using fpv mode and kind of creating some weird movements but movements that were the same with travis and then same with the car so that i could cut to them very easily and use as transitions The last tip that I have for you guys isn't about lighting, it isn't about cameras, it's not about gimbals, but it's actually about creating a story around your video. Our first look, hazed out, missed it out. Maybe we could turn the key light up a bit. For our key shots, like our key moments in this video, we wanted our designer, Travis, to be walking around his design. The idea for this video was we wanted to try and get into Travis's head while he was designing these car wraps and the car films that he has for these vehicles. So we had two parts. We had him designing and we had the car that was his design. My objective was to try through video to get into his head, into his creative space, and then practically show as well how he's made that dream or his ideas come to life in these car rap films. This to me was a little bit different than just showing up, shooting some cool B-roll of a beautiful car, to be honest. So it does a lot of the work for itself but I wanted to be able to build a story around it. Now this video hasn't been sponsored by anyone, but it is sponsored by me, and I've created a car photography presets specifically for you guys. You can go check them out linked in the first link down in the description. Use this code here to get a discount on those presets. If you guys are new to the channel or you've been here before and you're enjoying the content, please subscribe. We are on our way to 100,000 subscribers, and this month, April, I'm going to Italy for an experience of a lifetime. So subscribe. It's going to be absolutely incredible what we're going to get to do with some very, very beautiful cars. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll be bringing you guys along for the journey. As always, I appreciate your time so much. I hope you guys found this helpful and maybe found one extra tip that you can incorporate into your next videos. But yeah, I appreciate you guys a lot and uh, leave a comment down below letting me know which tip was your favorite or what you want to incorporate into your next video. But hopefully I will see you guys in the next one and maybe see you in Italy. All right. Peace.